Mind mapping is a great way to organize your to-do lists. In fact, this is the single most used feature of mind mapping. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in Novamind. Novamind makes it easy to organize the things that you need to do and you can categorize by whatever makes sense for that particular list. Sometimes you want to create a to-do list that's time-based, like this one, which is used to organize your week. Other times, you want to organize according to your objectives, like this. You can use the adornments to visually categorize the tasks, like this. And if you want, you can use the colors and shapes of the branches to form visual associations too, like this. If there are logical associations between the tasks, you may like to indicate them using link lines like this. And of course, if you're using Novamind Pro or Platinum, you're very likely to want to put checkboxes on the branches like this. You can see that the checkboxes are three state checkboxes where there's an on or checked state an intermediate state which indicates that the task is partially done and an unchecked state which indicates that the task hasn't been started. Now there are two ways that the checkboxes can operate. They can be set to operate independently or so that the state of the checkbox on the parent branch is determined by the state of the checkboxes on its children. So to make them independent let's uncheck the automatic checkboxes option like this. On Windows it's in the Format tab, and on the Mac you need to deselect all the branches by clicking on the map background to see the overall map settings, and you'll see it here. And now you can check or uncheck or partially check any branch independently of all the other branches. Now let's turn on the Automatic Checkboxes option, and now watch what happens. When the children are all unchecked, 
the parent is unchecked. As soon as one of the children is partially or completely checked, the parent is partially checked because the task has been started. And when all the children are checked, the parent is checked too. Now, if you've completed all the tasks under a parent task, you can actually click on the checkbox for the parent task and it will check all the children branches too. This is really useful if it's been a while since you updated and you've completed all the children tasks. These inheritance settings also work down multiple levels of children and grandchildren branches. One of the uses of this automatic checkbox state is that if you hide the children branches, you can still see the overall status of that task. And then if you do need to look at the detail, you can just expand all the child branches. If you have more extensive task management needs like seeing the percentage complete or setting priorities, assigning resources, start and finish dates and that sort of thing, then you can do that in Overmind Platinum, but that's outside the scope of this video. So there you have it. You now know how to create and maintain your to-do lists in Novamind.